the main thing I just want to share is just, I just feel like as I'm reflecting and healing every area of my life that I'm not really satisfied with or that feels like it's a lot of tension or strain happening in that particular area of my life, the root of it, it keeps going back to some core inner belief that I've been raised under to believe is the way that I need to function or show up or the way I need to think or what I need to be or how I need to act. It's got something to do with a programmed belief, a conditioned belief that I have in, in my subconscious that's that's steering my behaviors and my thought processes and stuff. And so I just wanted to throw this out here. This is random. It's like 3.40, no, 2.45 in the morning. But Dude, you guys, you guys got to take the time and pause and stop, stop letting the demands of the world and life distract you so much where you can never take the time to pause and go in and, and be curious and examine some of your core beliefs. Because it'll, it'll transform your life. Plus, typically core beliefs that we have that's, that's driving our behaviors. Oftentimes, those core beliefs that's been programmed into us, into us, um, were typically programmed and conditioned into us it wasn't it was for a form of disempowerment so i just i just suggest that y'all like look at that take a look at that whether it's beliefs about how marriages should go whether it's beliefs about what make you be worthy beliefs about um what you should be doing at certain ages of your life beliefs about how many children a person should have or whether you should have children beliefs about uh dating outside your race or dating outside your religion or not just examine those beliefs and especially if some of the beliefs that your family or your friends or your close net network or friend circles go by are some of the beliefs you don't necessarily agree with, but you're just conforming to them because you don't want to rock the boat or seem like an eyeball. No, examine that because oftentimes they're, they're flawed and distorted and, it's a, and they're used as a sense of control to keep you from experiencing life to your fullest capacity. It keeps you shrunken and just in the box. And next thing you know, you're like 100 or 90 or 80 years old and then you're your life is over. So just examine your core beliefs. I just want to put that out there. I love y'all. Have a good night. Hopefully y'all was safe this weekend. And um, I mean, I'm working on this too. I'm not saying this because I'm, I got it all down packed. No, but it's just something that came to mind that I'm working through. And as I peel back the belief systems and different things that I had, that, that I was living my life by, that I thought was core, that I thought was true, just core, true beliefs. It's got me having another awakening, like, oh crap, that's not, that's not that healthy or that's actually disempowering or Actually, that's um, super judgmental to have a this specific belief. And you don't even realize it until you take the time to really self-reflect. So that's all. That's it. That's all. <laughs> Good night. Bye.